This has become my purse since I took this job. Uh, and and uh, one of the biggest surprises for me here uh, after I uh, became uh, the commissioner is how often I do get stalked in the bathroom, I have to say. So, um, good afternoon, everyone. It is absolutely an honor to be here with you today at the United Nations in celebration of the Women's Entrepreneurship Day organization. I would like to thank WeDo CEO and founder Wendy Diamond and the Curation Committee for this truly special invitation. During my entire life, through school and my career, beginning in Nassau County and now in New York City, I have known and embraced a simple truth. I am terrible in math. <laughs> and with numbers, downright horrible. Oh, but I love words. I love language. What do verb choices mean and why do people insert a particular modifier to say or write the things the way that they do? Nuances in speech, inflections, and omissions can tell you an incredible amount about a person, their values and prejudices, whether they're hiding something or just plain lying. But if my life depended on it, I could not solve for X. <laughs> During the course of my career, I've been a female cop the general character assumption of a lady detective, and now the woman police commissioner. But the feminine adjective is often added to indicate something is unusual or unexpected. The implied asterisk denotes something's different. You need to know more. Check the legend at the bottom of the page to see what it means. This one is different than the norm. But there is one number that I have no trouble with. I wear a size eight shoe. <laughs> I tell people that often because depending on your perspective, they're not particularly big shoes to fill. And the loafers, wingtips, and brogues that came before me left large footprints indeed. I could tell you where I was born, where I went to school, and a full rundown of my career. But being the first woman in any field lends itself to a steady, very public magnifying glass. The heightened scrutiny, the healthy skepticism, the hard look, the asterisk. So you may have already heard all those things. Far too often when we rise to these challenges, we find ways to fit in when we are meant to stand out. I am just an ordinary person who happens to be the first woman selected for my position a mere 176 years in the making. And only in New York, where anything is possible, can a little girl from Queens with an unusual name become the 45th police commissioner in the greatest city in the world. I say happens to be because the stars had to align at the right time with the right decision makers for this to happen. And something had to stand out. We choose how we define ourselves, and the decisions and choices we make can make all the difference in the world. We decide to dream of the possibilities of these positions, entrepreneurship, humanitarianism, and innovation. We choose to step into the arena. I decided to separate from a job I loved and a family I adored to challenge complacency to a fight in the largest policing arena in the nation, with a glass ceiling firmly intact. But how we handle opportunity, challenges, and adversity is what makes us stand out and stand tall in the shoes we dare to put on. Women climb ladders in stilettos, work boots, lace-ups, oxfords, and strappy sandals. And the steps we take in the shoes we wear to make the decisions that we do are so that women are now the legends to check for at the top of the page, on mastheads, web browsers, and bylines. And so that events like these aren't the only ones with an impossibly long line for the ladies' room. <laughs> what size are your shoes? Who are you preparing to fill them? Women have to rise while bringing at least one more along for the ride. Women have to do it to show our sisters, daughters, and nieces what is possible. I do it 
So the next woman who sits in my chair needs no asterisk, needs no adjective, won't be unusual or unexpected, and can slide comfortably into well-worn size eights. Today, we bear witness to a steady stream of women's history. And the women in this room and what you do inspires me. I walked into the light to face head on the heightened scrutiny, the healthy skepticism and the hard looks. Somebody had to go first. I'm glad she is me. Thank you for your time.